Hey guys, salut, this is Alex and today I'm sharing with you 12 aromatic herbs that every cook should know about. Fragrant, fresh, flavorful, they are one of the best allies of your cooking journey. So who are they, how to identify them and what to cook with them? Also, why am I sitting at the table? And did I already order something? The answers now. Well, most of them because obviously this is not a restaurant. Mint. Mint is one of the most famous herbs used in cooking. It's fresh, it's lemony and sometimes it's a bit peppery as well, but every time it leaves a cool aftertaste. There are so many subspecies of mint, but the most common has tough stems and bright green, oval and pointy, slightly dented leaves. Just keep in mind that mint is very powerful, so use it with utmost care. So in my head, mint is screaming Mediterranean cuisine and Middle Eastern cuisine as well. There are many voices screaming in my head. And now some food matching perfectly with mint. Lamb, couscous, zucchini, feta cheese, garden peas, yogurt, or even chocolate. Next. Coriander or cilantro. So coriander is a very fragrant herb. In fact, it's so fragrant that some people are even disturbed by the smell of it. They find it smells a bit soapy. So personally, I love its citrus accent and I think it reminds me of lemongrass sometimes. So coriander leaves looks like dented clover leaves. Coriander stems are edible and they are more suitable than the leaves for slow cooking purposes. So this herb is often associated with South Asian cuisine. Thailand, India. And also Latin American as well. <coughs> Use coriander with confidence on chicken, curries, avocados, corn, onions or even chilies. Next. Basil. So basil is perhaps the most easily recognized herb in cooking. It's delicate, it's fragrant, and it makes me feel like I am a star chef every time I'm using it. Beautiful and smooth pointy leaves in the shape of a water drop somehow. So although this is an iconic flavor of Italy, you might also consider his Asian brother, the Thai basil, which has more like an anisey flavor to it. So basil goes perfectly with tomatoes, strawberries, shrimps, mozzarella, pasta, and even beef. Next, parsley. So is parsley the most widely available herb for cooking? Well, it might be considering how easy it is to use it. And you know, it's quite soft. I mean, it's not overpowering like mint, for example, or basil. To identify parsley on the market, look either for curly parsley, which has a distinctive frilly appearance, or for flat leaf parsley, which looks like coriander but with longer, thicker, and pointier leaves. It's really versatile and it's included in many dishes around the globe. You can pair it with garlic, lemon, mussels, blue cheese, lentil, or even ham. Next, chive. So chive is one of those herbs with a proper and strong but hidden attitude. Though it doesn't look much, but as soon as you bite into it, immediately feels like garlic. It's very easy to identify with its smooth, long, straight and tubular pointy stems. So chive is very common in Northern Europe and is definitely part of the Swedish cuisine. In fact, it's the smallest species of the onion genus. And that's why its flavor has some kick and some garlic into it, but also some freshness as well. Chives goes very well with eggs, fresh cheese, butter, salmon, and it's a killer with cream and potatoes. Next, dill. Dill has such a delicate flavor to it. It's like subtle and clean and fresh at the same time. The leaves are very light and soft, a bit like super fine green hairs. So dill is very famous in Northern Europe and in Eastern Europe as well, like Russia or Poland. It's a perfect match with cured fish like smoked salmon, for example, green soups, cucumbers, cream, beetroot, and of course, pickles. Next, thyme. Thyme should be in every kitchen. I mean, how can this tiny, tiny leaf smell so good? It's strong, it's lemony, and it's pungent in a way. Thyme leaves are distributed into sprigs, which are long and light woody stems. So Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cuisine are very fond of this herb. Thyme goes particularly well with eggplants, grilled barbecue meats, roasted veg like bell peppers, tomatoes, zucchini, and even goat cheese. Next, oregano. So to keep it simple, I would say that oregano smells like pizza. I know, of course, it's the opposite. Pizza smells like oregano, but still, it smells like pizza. So like bay leaf, oregano is more flavorful in its dry form. Otherwise, it's a bit pungent and a bit bitter as well. Bit bitter? Bit bitter. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. It makes sense. Huh? So it's very common in Mediterranean cuisine and also it's a favorite 
in Greek and Turkish cuisine. It works great with lamb, tomatoes, olive oil, kebabs, yogurt and uh, I don't want to say pizza. Next, rosemary. Rosemary is a powerful herb with a green tangy and woody smell. Look for woody stems with needle leaves, usually green on top but silver underneath. The best friends of rosemary are roasted chicken, roasted potatoes, garlic, apricots, it's the best jam ever, and even game as well. And next, sage. You know, sage is such an underestimated herb in the kitchen. It's pungent, it's minty, and it's even musky in a way. To spot it, look for hairy and pale green leaves. Sage is quite common in Balkan and Italian cuisine. It goes perfectly with bacon, sausages, or pork in general, rabbit, butter, gnocchi, and trust me, you could do a lot worse than a sage frittata. Next, tarragon. Tarragon smells like, um, different. This could be a smell. I think it's between vanilla and anise. It has soft, long and narrow green leaves with green stems. It's a bit embarrassing, but the best tarragon you can find is French tarragon. I mean, it's a fact. It's not a... Uh, it's a fact. Tarragon is a killer with white fish, mustard, mushrooms, cream and poultry. So next, bay leaf. Bay leaf is not technically an herb. Well, not even technically, it's not an herb at all. But I'm using it every day in my cooking, so I think it should stand in this list. Get over it. It might sound weird, but when you break a bay leaf, it smells like Coca-Cola. Just keep in mind that bay leaves are a great start for any stock preparation or any slow cooked dish. No, so guys, that's it. I'm telling you, these 12 aromatic herbs will change and boost your cooking forever. And sorry if I forgot to mention your favorite herb, but in that case, that's great. Just share it in the comments below, so that everyone can enjoy it. So as you saw, I gave you some examples for each and every herb. But these are only examples, not traps. You can try, you can combine these herbs together. There are no rules. I mean, not on this channel. I really hope you enjoyed this video. So if you did, give it a like, share it, comment it, and of course, subscribe to my channel for next videos. Bye bye, salut!